Okay, in today's video we're going to have a look at a an upgrade I did on a um, Kenpro um, HR2700 SDX. Uh, the controller was uh, a bit damaged and everything, so we decided to uh, upgrade the controller to a DXA controller from Yaesu. Um, so yeah, this is basically what we've done. Um, so basically, on the back, since I didn't want to change the plug to the bodgy uh, yucky um, Later version um, Molex style plug. I've actually um, put in the original um, Jones plug on the back of this one. So that's basically all we've done to this, uh, other than the alignment and realignment and everything. Um, so yeah, basically that's what we did on this one. Uh, the rotator was itself was uh, refurbished and uh, had a had the potential on replaced and uh, had to physically align, realign the whole uh, limit switches and everything in this thing. To match this one, so then I'll, oh, I'll plug him in first. That'd be a good idea. So don't line him up first. Let's plug him in. Put it a quick, quick drive. So there we go. So also installed LED illumination in this, which you probably won't see um, with so much light behind me. So basically, there we go. So let's turn him on. You may see it. You never know. It does come up a little bit. So basically, we're sitting at north of the prison moment. So this one is actually will be set up to do rotation from north down through to south on the um, on the left or CCW uh, side so we can do our, do our speed and it has slow speed shut down as well on this one so there we go we come around here and slow him down a bit and the limit switches will take over exactly south and, it's, and then this one has actually, if you didn't hear it, I'll go, I'll go faster and I'll drive it into it. This one actually has uh, low speed um, stopping before, um, and it'll go half speed, there it goes, and then it will stop. So it's got it's an extra set of limit switches which tells the controller to go into slow speed um, before hitting the end stops. So there we go, so now we can go all the way back around. As, as we've done before, I'll just go flat out this time just to show you the rotation of this thing and the speed. So, yeah, so basically, the control is the same, um, but a much later version and, and a lot less PCBs in it. The SDX controller was an absolute nightmare um, to do anything on. It was just so many, there's five PC boards in it, wires going everywhere. And compared to this controller, this is a lot better. So there we go. So now we come around to south again. I'm just slowing down again to, to stop at south. So there we have south. And, and when we get the south, our overlap will start. The light will just come on. You probably can't see it. The light has just come on. And then we'll go all the way up to um, to west, basically. And the limit switches will take over, uh, 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 slow speed will take it, just did, and it will stop. So now we can use our dial preset, and it's set back here. Oh, I might actually set it back to, say, 180. We'll keep drive around. And this one has low speed startup, and when you're doing some dial presets, so slow speed startup and slow speed um, shut off as well. Oh, I was out a bit there. Okay, I went a bit too far over. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, so we go back up to 90, thereabouts. And you'll hear it again, it will go s s sped up and then it will slow down. And then it will um, basically do the same thing again. And I'm just going to the, you've got to be exactly right on. You know, so I'm going to go to north, you can just dial it up. If you haven't done anything else in the meantime, it will actually just go into um, automatically we are pretty much on, on north and we can just start around to, to there and we can actually slow the speed down and that's how slow it can go so um, you can you know so you can go back to north again you can go slow speed you know so basically that's what it is it's just this controller is a lot more adaptable and easier to work on um, where the other one had uh, on the potentiometer there was oh, there was all sorts of levers and things to control everything where this one is all done electronically um, so there's nothing else around the potentiometer so if you want to work on the darn thing you can get it out and get it in really easily 
so it's a much better control to work on this one so yeah but not a problem well, there we are we've just done a couple of rotations and backwards and forwards of this uh, uh, G or HR slash G uh, 2700 uh, DXA um, control it was just fun done for a uh, for a customer okay we'll turn him off have a good day I'll catch you next video Bye.